Hey guys, thanks for joining. So in the previous video, we did create the security policy called API rule one, and we created, we moved it to the top, then we moved it back in front of uh, my internet DNS. It's still in disable mode, and I'm gonna keep it this way for now. And also we got all the security policies with a get request. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with like addresses and address group. So we have here, this is my DNS. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create an address group and also we're gonna add to this address group a couple of addresses, okay? Under the object. And as we do always, we go under the, the documentation, which is under URL, REST API dash doc. And we go under object, you have here object and addresses and the address groups, okay? So list all address groups, create address groups, edit, and so on and so on. All right, so let's start with the list address group. Always it's easiest to start with the get request. And we're gonna do that using postman. So same here as the security policy, let's duplicate that. And let's rename it. And let's change the authentication. Let's here in place of API using basic authentication. Let's run it just to check that it is working. Perfect, it's working. We've got the security policies, but that's not what we want. Let's list. No, we want the address group first. All right. So let's copy this URL. And. And let's see at the requirement field location, and actually it's also requiring the VSYS, which is, if we run it without it, it's not gonna, anyway. Alright, so you could see here, it tells us the status success, 200, okay, also the code, and it has given us the member of this object, okay? So let's save that, and let's do it. Change it to a post request. Rename just to remove the copy part. And let's see. It. All right. So let's see. Create an address group. What's required? So the name, the location, and this is the queries. All right. So the tags and the members. We get a new copy. Oh, this is Jason. But I don't want to have any members in the security policy. Uh, this is not needed. And also, the entry I will prefer for the dictionary, obviously. Alright, so let's name it. And operation failed. Let's see what happened. All right, so I had to put the name inside the entry, and although here it didn't say that it's needed. Alright, so we got a success. Let's take a look at the firewall. Address groups. Now let's do another thing. So groups 1. one. Let's see if it needs the number information. Alright, so we've seen we've created two different address groups. Now let's create uh, different addresses, and then what I want to do is assign those addresses to the address group. Okay. So 
So the tag, we don't care about it for now, we don't want to add a tag for this, just uh, like this IP netmask, so let's do 111 slash 32. And success, let's take a look. Perfect, let's do another one. Right, so we've created two new addresses. Now let's update the address group. So let's come in here, duplicate. Look how we could uh, update the address group. So let's make it add address group. Right, so the only thing we need to do is just uh, update it. So let's do save. And let's do it here at the end just to see the steps. And all we have to do is actually replace it with uh, the new names that we have created. So Okay. And let's just add to it since this one. So this way you could add to it. Send success. And let's take a look at the address group and refresh. And you can see that the address has been added, address two. And if you change it to address one, it will remove address two and just put address one in its place. So you wanna add it, you need to add to the list. Send API call, refresh. Alright, guys, I think that's enough for this video. We went over like uh, how we could add addresses, address group. I'm not gonna go over multiple examples, like you got the picture, right? So basically, all you wanna do is available here in this doc. So you take a look at them and you could test them with a postman. In the next video, we're gonna do like a Python script. Please, guys, like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, you can keep them in the comment section or you can reach out to us through our contact us page. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining. See you in the next video.